Growing up, I was a pretty normal kid. I liked to uh, do all the sports, hockey, soccer, getting into mischief, riding the bikes around and stuff. Good childhood, we like to go to the lakes in the summertime. And I think my family thinks I'm a big daredevil and, and kind of a, a little crazy. The very first time that we thought something was wrong, he was playing basketball in our front yard with the neighborhood kids and he went down. He kind of woke up a couple times and tried to sit up and run and he kept going back down. So we called 911 and that's when they first found him in an abnormal heart rhythm. And I found out that I have Brugada syndrome. I think we're all just kind of, what's next? Um, on our way back through Minneapolis, on our way to Fargo, he said, you know, mom and dad, can we stop and get a drum set? And we bought him one right then on the way home and he taught himself how to play and he had a new love of music. After I got my first device, the doctors told me that I, I couldn't play contact sports through all this stuff. I was thinking, you know, maybe, maybe once I get out of the hospital, not mope around the house and watch TV, but to, to get out of bed or get off the couch and, and do something different. I have great faith in what Boston Scientific can do to keep me and any of our kids in the future safe. I am tremendously proud of him and grateful that he's still in our lives and that he's done so much with his life and been such a positive person in so many other people's lives. One thing that I used to always say to Chris, because he would just say, you know, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky that I'm here and that I have you. And I say, no, I'm the lucky one <laughs> because he's been saved so many times, you know?